there's a lot of concerns about the company that created Facebook running a metaverse. And mm -hmm. one of them is online bullying. Yep. Online harassment. Yes. Um, let's just bring Facebook back in a minute to give it one last kick while it's down. Facebook's not exactly known for being a place that's free of harassment and bullying. Exactly. You know, it, it, go into a Facebook group related to politics and look at the comments to a post. You know, it's either an echo chamber or it's toxic AF. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, you're going to trust these people to create a virtual environment where everything from children to chads mm -hmm. are going to be interacting. Yeah. That's terrifying. It's, yeah, there's there's no, where, where are the boundaries? Right. I mean, the uh, Facebook has a poor track record of establishing boundaries and enforcing them. And Enforcement it, is a huge issue. It's a huge issue. And and this is beyond just a social media platform. If this works the way that, quote unquote, works, the way that Zuckerberg and other proponents of the metaverse are saying, this is going to carry over into multiple platforms. So let's just say for the sake of saying that they succeed. Let's say they succeed. Okay. Okay. And this metaverse connects to everything out there. So what's stopping a person who's harassing someone in Fortnite, for example, from following that avatar, which is the same avatar. It's not, it's, it's the exact same avatar. It has the same online ID. It probably mm -hmm. has a hashtag since they're using a uh, blockchain technology, assuming. And so you, you find that exact same person and you follow them to other places. You follow them to the concert and you harass them there. You follow them to a relaxation place where they're on Lake Titicaca. I mm -hmm. love saying Lake Titicaca. You do. And harass them there. What is stopping a, a very targeted bullying campaign like the likes that we saw when school children, you know, school kids, high school kids, were being targeted for bullying by their peers because they knew that person's real life information? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, honestly, uh, I, I don't see the... The, the, the rules and the enforcement in place. I just, h how do you do it? They don't have a plan for addressing that. Hell, they don't even have a plan for addressing the uh, the remote bullying going on on the current platform that is right. not interconnected, that's not a metaverse. Right. Let's catch up a little bit on our comments here because okay. people in our comment section are bringing up amazing stuff. You want to go ahead and flag a uh, tag? Sure. These? I mean, we've got to... <clears throat> tag, not flag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... So Burke brought up a really good point that, you know, in Ready Player One, mm -hmm. in, in, that, in that world, Earth had reached a point where the game was the most profitable thing to do as a job. Right. And, you know, and, and Dude404 points out, yeah, that's a dystopia. And, yeah. you know, there, there's a possibility that, that we could go that route. Um Tizen Org, hey, uh, welcome Tizen. Good to see you. Um, Facebook has been known to suspend accounts, right? Bullying. For those standing against harassment. Yeah. Right. If person if person A is harassing person B, and you stand against person A, mm -hmm. you actually have a higher chance, statistically speaking, of being suspended than person A. Yeah. Especially if you take a strong stance against their bullying. It's very backwards, and it's all going against that community standard BS. Yeah, it is. And BG brings up the, that Black Mirror episode. I know exactly the one you're talking about, mm -hmm. where uh, the the offender got blocked from all interaction. Um, nobody could see them. They were just a blurred out whatever. Yeah. And they had absolutely no connection to, to the world. Uh, well, that's a dystopia. Yeah. Um, and that's not the answer. Yeah, social shunning on a high, high level. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, let's go back to the fact that how the heck are you going to enforce that? This is a metaverse that by its very nature, especially if it's put on blockchain, is decentralized. Yes, it is decentralized. So for those of you who don't know, quick thing, blockchain is basically decentralized computing. I, yeah. I know that is, so all those out there who are blockchain fans, forgive me for you bringing it down to like five words. But it basically is a de decentralized way of computing information, whether it be financial information or whatnot. Um, so it's all decentralized. Yeah. How the hell are you going to enforce that? Mm -hmm. How are you going to force a person who is breaking a rule to have them blocked? Yeah. You'd have to, I mean, and carry over from 
AP, uh, app to app to app, game to game to game. Okay, yeah, so which company's gonna do that? Right. Is it gonna be Meta doing it? Yeah. You're gonna give them that much control? That's an insane. Is, is it a government? Yeah, it, that's an insane amount of power for anyone to have. Because yeah. you're basically giving them the ability at the push of a button, quote unquote, to turn off someone's online presence. And mm -hmm. if we're gonna build a world where this metaverse actually exists, then that is your online presence. That's everything. Yeah. That's your that's your social media, that's your video uploading, that's your TikTok, that's your games. So you piss off the wrong person. I mean, now I'm I'm being very hypothetical here. We're being here, very hypothetical. But okay. hypothetically, if this was all connected, you could have your online presence just basically blocked and what if that's your only way to reach out to people during this pandemic? Mm -hmm. Teal and I yeah. Did not, especially for the first six months. Yeah. Didn't interact with anyone face to face, not even Fox, our best friend, because COVID-19. If our online presence had been blocked, if this reality was real, then we would be isolated. No, just, just as a side comment, the um, online world mm -hmm. is real. Yes. Yes. To it is. a lot of people. Yes. Yes. And some people have stated and I will not knock them for this, that their online friendships are more real than their offline ones. Absolutely. Years ago, years ago, back during that mosaic internet browser time, people would be laughed at that. The Usenet time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Usenet. <laughs> but nowadays, with how connected everything is, voice chat, avatar chat, video chat, whatnot, it's not really laughable anymore. No. And... If you are your avatar, mm -hmm. then this stuff happening to your avatar is happening to you. Yeah, there is no difference. Psychologically speaking, if a person's psyche connects a thing to them and something bad happens to that to that thing, it's no difference if it happened to them. It's the same thing. Yeah. That's why people get really upset with characters that they love in a story that get killed because they feel a connection. That's why it's really rough if your account on an online game gets deleted mm -hmm. or if you're banned from a forum that you really enjoyed being a part of. That's why it hurts so much because you're associating that online identity with your own. That is normal human psychology. So now we get back to my point of somebody is going around harassing you, bullying you. Um, how do you get away from them? Uh, and on the flip side, the companies, the, the meta company and, and meta. governments, who, who is going to be stopping the bullying and stopping the trolls? And how do you stop them? And from, how do you stop them from you, overreaching? From overreaching, right. Who watches the Watchmen? Yeah.